Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel. A few people had asked me if I would do a bit of a flip through to show what my layouts look like on a week to week basis because generally, particularly when I do my horizontal layouts, I don't tend to show you what's happening during the week. And that's mostly because when I use my planner, I tend to plan things out a day or two in advance and I tend to film a couple of weeks in advance. So I have everything pre-prepared. just makes my life easier that way. So I don't always write in big events and such, but I'm happy to show you guys what's in my planner. That's absolutely not a problem. What you will see is that there are some weeks where I don't put anything in my planner and I can tell you exactly how those weeks went and that is not well. So without further ado, this is my planner. I'm not gonna go through the entire thing just because I don't think that's 100% necessary. I am planning on making some new dividers and changing the setup of my planner a little bit in the next couple of weeks. So I'm happy to do a full flip through then if you guys are interested in that. So just let me know down below. This is an A5 black textured leather planner from Kiki K. I have had it embossed, but it's the invisible embossing. It's just got my initials on it. And I really love this planner. I'm a sucker for anything that's classic. And to me, black planners are classic. They don't date. They don't really age as such. And that's why I'm really, really happy with this one. I love their, their patterns and things like that that Kiki K come out with, but on a general day-to-day -day basis, I think black will never go out of style. And you can dress it up for any occasion. Um, so inside, I've still got my little Project Life cards from Mrs. Brimbles that I made and laminated. Inside the flap, I just keep my functional stickers that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This was a greeting card that I bought and excuse the profanity on it, but I needed a reminder that I need to own every day. All of the dividers are from Mrs. Brimble's papers. I went with the galaxy ones for this, but like I said, I'm probably gonna change them out soon. This little pocket holds more functional stickers. Again, that's from Kiki K. This is just another Kiki K divider that I had, so I put it in here just to keep things a little bit separate. I do still have my monthly layouts from October last year, so I'll just show you them. So this was the Halloween one. And because I was using those super thin paper, I was just, I wasn't back to backing them because I was going heavy on decorations. I do color code in my monthly layouts and this color coding matches my eye calendar. So I have my different calendars all color coded the same way. Christmas. So this was January, this was using a Brimble's kit. Um, I do tend to tuck in things at the end of the month if necessary. This was just to show that for every day except one in January, I managed to do exercise, which was good for me. Don't ask me how that's going now because it's not going so well. I'll get back on track eventually. February, I love this layout and yet I didn't fill it in. So you can guess how February went for me. So this was March. I switched out using the colored pens and now I just highlight. I don't know, I'll probably switch back to the pens at some point, but the highlighters work as well. Same function. And this is April. So at the moment, it's not too busy. April's a pretty quiet month, but yeah. There's a few more things coming that I'll add in as they, they come along. And then we get to the weekly layout. So I think I only have from January in here just because my planner is getting quite chunky and I'll need to start taking these out soon as well. So this was the first layout for the year. It had my word of the year on their wonder. I do tend to use stickers to highlight things, but if I don't have stickers, I, I'm not fussed. I'll do random doodles and things to represent things. I also tend to use up what I've got. Yeah. So some of them I draw in this week, I did a few more headers and plants and things just to make it look pretty. More icons. They come from all over the place. I've collected so many stickers over the last couple of years. Now I'm just in the mood to use them all. So I don't often know where they all come from, but I just throw them in. As you can tell, this week didn't go so well. Or this one. 
And it's interesting, I tend to use more space on Saturdays and Sundays. That's because I'm not working and I get more done on the weekend and I have more time to actually plan things out. So if I'm gonna have really big to-do lists, it's gonna be on Saturday and Sunday. Or if I have so much to do, I tend to put it on a separate piece of paper or notepad, which let's see if I've got one handy like this. I just map everything out, sit it on top of the day and anything that's major that I wanna keep track of for a memory keeping purpose, I'll tend to just write that in. Again, I love this layout, but I don't know, was this, this must've been February. Yeah, February was not a good month. Got a bit better towards the end of the month. And I love this blackout layout and I love the gold on it. It's one of my favorite layouts ever. I do like throwing stickers in. I don't mind if it looks messy because this is just to show the chaos that is my life. Because, you know, life can be chaotic sometimes and that's okay. Just means things are getting done, usually. And Easter, there was a lot of things happening. It was the end of the month and there was end of term and it's just stuff going on everywhere. And I am trying to get better at tracking what I'm watching on TV. I don't tend to watch a lot of TV. I tend to watch maybe one or two things a night if that, if I even turn the TV on, sometimes the TV doesn't get turned on all week, but I'm currently watching two things on TV that are currently airing. And I'm also going through David Attenborough documentaries on Netflix, which I'm really enjoying. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm keeping up with that. Obviously towards the end here, I was away, so I didn't get as much done in the second half of the week. And then that takes us up to the current week as of filming this, which is the 5th of April. And you can see I've, this is where I switched into my vertical layout and I'm doing a little bit better with the vertical layouts now, whereas previously I've had a bit of trouble with them. Because I do like to list things, this is easier because it's set up like a list. And you can see Monday to Thursday, I've already put in a whole stack of stuff that I'm doing. And because I tend to plan as I go, you know, Friday to Sunday aren't 100% filled in yet. At the end of today, whatever I haven't achieved from Thursday, I will migrate into Friday because I am on school holidays, so I have a bit more time to actually do things during the day. And then I'll work out what's happening on Saturday and Sunday. I am trying to take it easy and just get things done around my apartment because next week is crazy. Haven't filmed next week's stuff that's coming up after I film this video, but you guys will probably see that video before this one goes up and I will leave a link to it down below. But that's about it. Everything else, I've got birthdays, I've got addresses, I've got general note paper. Last year I used this as my work planner so I still have meeting notes and things in the back of here which I wanna take out and take back to work and put in some other bits and pieces for myself. So I hope that answers some of your questions about how I use my planner on a week to week basis. If you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments, I'm happy to answer them. I am gonna be sticking with vertical layouts for the next maybe two months or so. I have a whole bunch of sticker kits that I'm really excited to use. And yeah, we'll just see how this format goes for a little while. Maybe I'll switch back to horizontal, maybe I won't. I don't know. You guys let me know what you'd like to see. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.